When he was being deployed, uh, I drove him to the airport and I said to him, what am I going to do if you don't come back? He said, this is my choice. I've had a great life and I'm ready to go. He had switched places with one of his partners there and that's the mission he died on. He was an anthropologist by trade and he just never felt a calling in any type of corporate world or business world. So he traveled extensively and after 9-11 he felt just so, so strong for our country he wanted to serve. And, um, and that's what he did. And it was just one month shy of 42. He was my baby brother. He's the youngest of five. We, we were inseparable. He was remarkable to me and uh, to many, many people. He was the purest person I knew. He lived his entire life through integrity, honesty, huge humanitarian. So Catch a Lift started after my brother died. He was an athlete his whole life and he was a fitness enthusiast. He believed it changed you mentally and physically if you were at the top of your game. I was just flooded with emails from people he served with and they all talked about healing and working out and finding um, a lot of a new sense that they had in their life with my brother in the gym. So I researched and found there was no uh, fitness rehabilitation offered to our combat injured returning veterans. So every day when he would go to the gym, he'd say, I'm going to catch a lift. So my name is Adam Vengro, a Westport resident for 12 years. I'm a board member of Catch a Lift. Uh, we help fundraise and we have a side program called Westport for Warriors. Meeting Lynn Coughlin and Catch a Lift for the first time, realizing that physical fitness is something that I believe in. Finding mental health through physical fitness when you're burnt out, frazzled, you need a break. We know what a good hard run, throwing weights around, whatever it does. And then to apply that to our men and women of the military that are coming home and need something to help them heal, it just made so much sense. For $1,500 a year per veteran, uh, they get the fitness of their choice, either any membership in a facility anywhere in the United States or home equipment if they need that. And then they get the entire catch a lift programs, which is nutrition, coaching, meal planning, peer support, motivation, accountability. They get their own squad leader if they need it. They get their own veteran coach if they need it. So that whole year, they're just embraced by a whole team to get them first physically fit and then naturally the physical fitness turns into the mental fitness. I used to bring my son on Veterans Day to the town hall. We go to the service and it's mostly Korea, Vietnam, Gulf, and you're lucky to have some World War II here. And after that, what else? That's it. You know, you get parades and days off for all other holidays. You get a 30 minute town hall service that most people know, don't know about in the auditorium of town hall, which most people don't go to. And I said, there's something more. Veterans Day in this town can be special. When Andy Berman came on the training side, uh, him and I just went full speed uh, forward and we just started hitting one by one, putting a plan of attack and we created a two prong approach where we embrace the veterans and we join them with the community and we give them workouts, we give them guidance, we give them nutrition, we give them uh, all kinds of things that they can get from just the three days as a start to a, a future relationship. Relationship. Because we're in close quarters, we have five cases of women. They have to hold the case, they have to decide the bat. Well, I am a strength and conditioning specialist in the beautiful Fairfield County area, especially in uh, Westport, Connecticut. I also serve on the board of directors for a wonderful organization called Catch a Lift Fund. Bam! Boom! Where we provide fitness for post 9 11 combat that's coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq. The brave men and women that served our country, protecting that blanket of freedom for us. Odie Koskinas, I'm the police chief here in Westport. The way we started this, I was very good friends with Andy Berman. I've been working out with him for about 15 years now. Uh, through him, I met Adam Van Gro, and the list sort of began to grow. Uh, we met Lynn from Catch a Lift, uh, heard the story about her brother, 
it, it sort of, not only was it a touching story, it just had a lot of feeling behind it, and it didn't seem like a cause that was for money. It was for the right reasons. So I'm Jeremiah Montel, United States Marine Corps Sergeant, United States Navy, Petty Officer Second Class. The reason I'm here now is three years ago, I made a decision to change my life. I was 320 pounds, I was on 15 different meds, and I had contemplated suicide from the burdens I suffer from my military experience in Iraq and Afghanistan. Physical fitness has totally changed my life. It's, it's, it's given me the confidence and the strength to move past my demons and keep pushing for those that can't push and to remember those that I've lost that affect me greatly. Catch a lift, it seems like an easy premise, right? Provide fitness equipment, provide access to physical fitness. It's not, that's just, we call it the vehicle. The destination is mental health. And then the other side is the fundraising side because nothing can happen without funds. The fundraisers, we operate really, really tight to the budget so that we can keep most of the money in the program. We've been, fortunately, 90% of every dollar goes into the program so that the ticket money is for the veterans. The men and women you'll meet tonight, it's easier for them to go on the battlefield than to do what they're gonna do tonight, to stand up and open their hearts. Three years ago, I had my leg amputated. Uh, I had a blood clot my first year, so finally, two years ago, I was sitting on the couch, 65 pounds heavier, and I had seen veterans on TV with missing more than one limb or above the knee. And I thought to myself, how can I sit here and feel sorry for myself? I have a paper cut compared to what these men and women have. I had so much anger inside of me when I found Catch a Lift Fund. They were able to buy me the best therapy I've ever had in my life. And after getting the call to go up front and probe an ID, my mind blacked out. The guys say that I flew 10 to 15 feet in the air while inside of the husky compartment. Our team got hit pretty bad. I recovered with minor head injuries. But we lost Moreno. This is the first time that I say this in public. The first time. I returned to Iraq twice after that mission and found myself in the same routine. We encountered many other explosions and small arms fire that led to many other of my brothers not returning home. We sacrificed everything. PTSD is a coward who attacks everyone differently. I can still smell the foul stench in Iraq. I miss my guys, and I still hear the unpleasant sounds and remember distaste, the distasteful experience. That is what brings me here today. That is what brought me to Cal. I have feared and seen death up close and personal. I have been to war twice and have experienced humanity at its worst. No one will understand oppression until you have seen firsthand death, destruction, lawlessness, and what humans are capable of. I have been petrified to the point of throwing up after seeing my buddy shot or killed, knocked out from roadside bombs, diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. I have had to deal with some crazy anxiety uh, coming home from war after losing 16 of my brothers. Um, this is for everybody uh, in this room. Uh, don't feel sorry for yourself. Be intentional. Uh, the best is yet to come. No freaking excuses. Um, yeah. With a catch a lift, I lost over 95 pounds. Yeah. One of the, really the most extraordinary gift that my brother gave after he died, he always told me to take pain and make it to purpose. One of um, my personal, I've 
missions that as Catch the Lift comes full circle is that um, on Veterans Day, there, it's not about a parade, it's not about sales, that we want Catch Lift to be the movement going across the country, that schools, offices, town halls open up and they let our veterans come in of all generations and tell their story because it's the only way America's going to learn what a veteran's really experienced and we value what they gave us. One of the things that is most important to me, and, and again, it goes back to what's going on in the world today, so much conflict and left and right, it doesn't matter. We have veterans that just stand up for one religion and that's America. So my heart is set on helping these men and women.